Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go from Seattle. Block at the return. take a shot right away and they didn't wait long to take a shot there that's for sure but it falls incomplete and it's second down second down now after the incompletion off the play fake to Rawls Wilson and incomplete there a nice hit jars the ball free and brings up third down <laughs> So now an early third and ten here on their opening drive. Play action. Now Wilson rolling to his left. And that will be incomplete as well. The tight end Luke Wilson was a target. And it's fourth down. So the defense forces a three and out, but they got some help along the way. They threw it on first down, and when they were unsuccessful, it became second and long. Didn't get it again on another pass. Went third and long, and they almost had to put it in the air. They may want to rethink some strategy going forward. He finds his man, Baldwin. Seahawks have taken a first quarter lead. Wow, talk about a big fourth down conversion for the score defensively. How do you let that happen? Uh, I think you start with the offense and you give them credit for going for and having that type of, well, let's face it, audacity. But defensively, I think you're right on target, partner. There's no way something like that's supposed to happen in that situation. You're supposed to be able to shut that down and get the ball back for your own team. Instead, they give up not just a big play, but a touchdown. They come up in an offset eye. Now West. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. And they're behind the sticks here a bit now, dealing with a second and 12. Michael Bennett's versatility, being able to play any position along the defensive front, allows him to make those types of plays. He finds good matchups and gets into the offense. And he is going to go down. He will be set. Second quarter now. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis with you. It's the Ravens who have the football. They do, however, have a tough third and long coming up. Third and long for Joe Flacco. Catch left side here by Aiken. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. So on fourth down, here's Sam Cook to punt it away. Back deep. And now the Seahawks are going to take a timeout here on defense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds, and they'll spot it right at the 20. The Seahawks offense now, they get ready to come back onto the field. And the ball backed way up, so thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Rawls, the lone man in the backfield. They go play action here on first down. He's going to look deep down the field. And lucky to get away with one there. That one nearly picked. Second down. But depending on the team, they call that an explosive play or a chunk play, the one that they got on the previous one. They tried to go back and get another one, didn't they? They did, but unsuccessful on that second attempt. Final play of the half. It's Wilson. He's going to try and go deep again. And this is caught. And he's in for the touchdown. The final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. 
answer. How did they get that done? And they extend their lead, a little added cushion into the lockers. What a way to finish. Tremendous way. That's momentum that they carry in with them. Can they convert it and bring it back out to start the third quarter? And now this will be the final play of the half as with no time remaining, they'll try and add two more to the lead right before intermission. Wilson going to throw for it. And this one incomplete. So the, and apparently that's all, Larry. So much for the halftime report. We'll see in the postgame. We're ready to get to the third quarter. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. And this one recovered by the hands team for the Ravens. Out come the Ravens now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they felt they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. They'll run it with West. Working his way for a gain of 7 to the 26. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. On the ground, it's West again. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone. Back now in Seattle, Washington. It's the Ravens with possession of the football, but trailing on the big board as we get set for the fourth. First and 10 here for Flacco. Finding time. Look at the time. That is caught inside the five. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Operating out of the gun. Flacco, he's got time. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. Not able to connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. Second down, Flacco now. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. They got to have six here. It's third and goal. They got pressure there and only rushing three. And there's a defensive coordinator right now who is celebrating not just getting home with three there, but realizing if that's the type of pressure he can get in the... And this is intercepted, and that should do it. It's the Pro Bowl quarterback, Richard Sherman, and he'll go down inside the 15 at his own 13-yard line. And who else to make the big play to seal this victory but Richard Sherman? He does have an exquisite sense of timing, doesn't he? He loves the spotlight, loves the big stage, really feels no pressure when there's a big play that needs to happen, and he just did another one right there. Remember when he knocked one away to seal an NFC Championship game against San Francisco? Yeah. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. Defensively, there's still three timeouts. I, do you even need to use them at this point? I think a lot of coaches do it anyway, and it seems like Cosme... And got his man complete! Doug Baldwin, the 20! And all the way in, touchdown Seattle! Doug Baldwin taking it in. And the Seahawks add on to their lead. And to me, that touchdown allows you to start grinning widely on your sideline. I think they pretty much locked this one away. Yeah, that's the clincher, the proverbial icing on the cake, if you will. And they're able to up the lead by one more. Hauschka now to send this one away following the score. This will be taken in at the one. 